Aaron, uh, just raise your hand, we'll get you the microphones. Who's got the first question? Good day, yo. <laughs> All right, we'll start with Meredith right here. Aaron, what do you expect the atmosphere to be like tonight? Buzzy. Um, it'll, I'm sure it'll be awesome. Uh, you know, the cool, cool down today, fall in the air. Um, two great teams, two great franchises, two great fan bases. Um, should be, uh, should make for a special environment. Looking forward to it. Other questions? All right, we'll go right here. Is it one of those things where you're looking to get one of two? Is it tough to say that to your players because you're looking to win every game? Is it take it one at a time? Can you kind of walk us through that mentality? It's it's difficult coming here on the road, but but what's that team mentality? Yeah, we don't look at it like that. We we look at it, uh, go play our go play our game, go play well. You know, starts with first pitch, win, win the pit, win a pitch. Um, you know, offensively have quality at bats, control the strike zone, you know, play catch on defense, um, you know, Jay go out, pound the strike zone. Those are the things that, um, you know, we can control to some degree. Um, and, and that's the focus. And if we do that well, we'll put ourselves in a good position, not only this game, but in the series. Uh, Dave. Alex was in here earlier and just keeps emphasizing the importance of keeping you guys in the ballpark, which, which every team tries to do. What, what is it about the lineup with you guys that makes that so hard? I mean, is it the strength to hit even good pitches out of the park? Is it guys that just have the mindset to hit home runs? What, what do you think is some of the underlying threats no, there? I mean, that happens by controlling the strike zone, and especially when you're up against good pitching, where that's very difficult to do, and it's very difficult to hit the ball out of the ballpark. You know, I don't think you go up there trying to hit the ball out of the ballpark. We just have hitters that have power and that's part of their game. But it starts by controlling the zone. And if we do that as a group consistently, then usually you, you give yourself a chance when a pitcher does make a mistake. And if you're doing that up and down the lineup, over time you'll net yourself more mistakes. And those are, those are the ones you gotta take advantage of, especially in the postseason when you're up against elite pitching. Uh, Tom, to your right here. Aaron, you'd obviously rather avoid the wild card game, but as you sit here now, having survived that, could mm -hmm. there be a benefit to your team that you got to play, that you got to win an important game, that you get to take that into this? I, I think there's a little benefit to that. Um, you know, certainly when you start out on the season, you know, you want to win the division and, you know, have the ability to set things up exactly how you want, rest guys if you need to. But but I think there's a lot to be said for, you know, we've, we've been playing meaningful games all the way till the final Sunday of the season. Season, um, and had to beat, had to win games against some good clubs down the stretch to kind of secure our position, to secure that home home field advantage for the wild card. So, um, I, I, hopefully, there's a sharpness that comes with that. I think there is, um, and and I feel like um, you know our club is as healthy and as whole as we've been throughout the year, and and I feel like we finished the season playing well, and, and we're able to carry it into the first game of the postseason. To your left, Aaron Bryant. Aaron, uh, in the wild card game, you were pretty aggressive defensing Andujar, bringing in Hechevarria. Do you feel like that's something you're going to do again here? Um, it'll be something that's kind of game to game, fluid, you know, I'd call it. Um, you know, the, the wild card game is a little bit different in that, you know, I, I think we had 10 pitchers and, and a deeper bench. So you had a little more flexibility to make some moves um, earlier in the game. Um, so, you know, I envision us using our roster, um, but it'll be kind of a game by game, inning by inning kind of uh, strategy or or how we'll deploy our guys. But it's a little bit different now that we're in a series um, and with the way our roster is constructed now. Other questions for Aaron? Uh, Tyler. Aaron, what have you learned about Andrew McCutcheon since you got him, and why has he been, uh, you know, what do you like about his game? How is he helping you? Well, I talk about controlling the strike zone, and he's as good as there is at that. Um, he's come over here, immediately fit in with our group. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, I've pretty much inserted him at the top of the lineup, and his ability to get on base, to, to take close pitches, he's also hit for some power from that spot. Um, 
you know, we've asked him to play different spots in the outfield. When he first got here and Aaron was injured, he was playing mostly right field. Then we've switched him over to left field where he hasn't played since since the minor leagues. Um, he's been willing to do any and all of that, whatever you need, kind of, and he's done it well. Um, but I think, you know, going along with, you know, us as an offense and controlling the strike zone, he kind of sets the tone for that at the top, and is, he, he's been a he's been an impact player for us. In front of Tyler, David, uh, Aaron, just the way you drew it up in spring training, Luke Voigt batting fifth in Game One of the Division Series. Did you know anything about him before you got him, and what has impressed you or surprised you uh, most about him? Yeah, so I was actually broadcasting, I think, his Major League debut last year in St. Louis. Um, so I do remember him just because he's a little unforgettable when you first see him, you know, with the buttons buttoned down. And the first thing I thought of was Dante Bichette when I saw him. He reminded me of that. I think I might have even said it on the broadcast. But, um, you know, I, again, I've said this, but I give our front office and our analysts a lot of credit for really identifying him and as as somebody that they felt was undervalued and and – potentially a really good hitter um, at the big league level and and he's been that for us he's come over here and and you know I talk about Kutch having an impact and being an impact player that's what Luke's been for us another guy that does a really good job with the strike zone and then the, the power he has um, the power he has the other way um, which really obviously plays well in our ballpark um, he's just been He's been really consistent for us, a consistent producer since he, uh, you know, got some opportunities to get in the lineup, and and he hasn't turned back. He he just kind of kicked the door in and, and took it. Anything else, for Aaron? Nothing else. All right, Aaron. Thanks so much. Appreciate